All right, good morning, guys. Today we have another university we're gonna look at at Belgrave College. Today we're gonna look at Morgan State University. Now, Morgan State University is a HBCU, historically black college university, which is located in Baltimore, Maryland, about 45 minutes away from Washington, DC, about four hours away from New York, two hours away from Philadelphia. Morgan State University is one of the oldest HBCUs in America. Um, has graduated uh, plenty of um, scholars throughout the years. Uh, it's relatively affordable. It is part of the University of Maryland state system. All right. And they've been offering quite a number of scholarships recently. Now, we'll go into a little more details. We'll do the whole rundown, especially what it means to international students, because they do have a good international student population. And it's also in close proximity to other uh, research areas around the way. So, I mean, it is a great school and I feel that it's one of the schools that really gets looked over. And, uh, you know, we'll take a look at it and maybe this is the school for you. If you have um, intermediate to high grades, uh, you shouldn't have a problem getting in. Uh, but you know what we try to do here? We try to find where the money is. So let's step in and take a look at this. I'll break the pen out the iPad and we're gonna go and we're gonna look at Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, like we said, we have a goodie for you here, and we're going to just tap into Morgan State University and figure out what is going on here. All right. So the first thing we do, I look at U.S. News, and I tell you this all the time. I, I like U.S. News. Um, all the information isn't 100% accurate, but they do have a lot of information that you need for any school that you want to look at in America. So let's take a look at this. So with Morgan State University, I'm going to tell you straight up. Application fees, $35. Acceptance rate is a whopping 87%. Okay, 87% acceptance rate, which means that as long as you have a C average and up, you can get into the school. Okay, and this isn't to take away from these schools. You, you, you do have to understand that the HBCUs and some of these colleges... These are colleges that I've seen experience that they do show a lot of love and they really want to help out students. So you will see that they're generous in acceptance uh, because they really want to give students a chance. And I've noticed that with a lot of these schools, every school isn't like that. They're a bit more selective. But Morgan State University has put out loads of scholars throughout the years um, and has done a big service to um uh, the community in America. All right. Um, $35 application fee. Application deadline is rolling. So it's not too late. Application deadline is rolling. All right. Which means that you could apply right now if you got it. All right. They don't need SATs or ACTs. SATs or ACTs are not required. Okay. Not required. All right. Um, it's in an urban setting. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. And I suggest that you guys go to um, go to Google or just go to Wikipedia and take a look at Baltimore, Maryland. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. And I try to be Baltimore is uh, probably the biggest city in Maryland, the, mo the busiest. A um, lot of people, a lot of shipping ports. Uh, Morgan is an urban. It's an urban campus. It's 175 acres. All right. Now, I try to be transparent. Baltimore is a nice place. Uh, it, they have a nice harbor where people go there for restaurants, eating and everything like that. But I would be lying to you if I told you that Baltimore, Maryland is not a dangerous city. There are some dangerous parts there and there are some high areas of crime. However, <laughs> this is America. American cities have problems with crime some higher than others but there's a problem with crime in america there's a problem with drugs there's a problem with murder this is what you sign up for when you come to america the question is is it avoidable and i say yes it is of course we can't guarantee anything but we do know that uh you know there are ways to get around it depends on what you do so you have to take extra precautions making sure that you're locking your car Making sure that when you go outside, you go out with friends. Um, I always tell uh, young ladies that when you, even when you're on campus anywhere, you really shouldn't walk alone. Try to walk with a friend or a group of people, all right? 
Don't go to areas which you don't know. All right. For some of you young men, you come to America and think that you want to get your party on. Be careful about jumping into these nightclubs, going to these bars. You don't know them. Some of them are death traps. And this is some of what the traps are with people. They go to a town and they don't know how to move. And even with me, whenever I travel, I try to go with people that I know because at any minute you can go to a wrong neighborhood. It can only be one block and that block something bad happening. So Baltimore is a big city. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's um, the biggest city in Maryland. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of good, but I'd be lying to tell you that um, if they don't have a problem with crime in some areas. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the campus setting is, 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 is a nice campus. They've been doing a lot of building recently. Now, mind you, about 51% of students, about half the students commute and half students live on campus. Half the students commute, half the students live on campus. All right. Um, like I said, high acceptance rate. Undergraduate enrollment is 7,034. 7, all right. 7,034 people enrollment rate, okay? Um, I know for a fact there are plenty of scholarships that are out there that are offered through the school. I would contact admissions and see if, what scholarships are offered for international students. Um, they do have some very uh, good programs. Like I know, for example, they have a nursing program. They have, a, for graduate students, they do have a graduate um, architecture program, which is a very good program from what I hear. All right. And um, like I said, uh, it's, it's, it's urban campus and there are plenty of apartments in the area as well. Uh, so if you don't want to live on campus, you want to live with some friends, you can find some pretty nice neighborhoods to look at. And they're more, re they're reasonably priced. Baltimore is cheaper than the D.C. area, which is very expensive. Now mind you, Baltimore, Maryland and D.C. are 45 minutes apart, about 40, 45 minutes apart. But it's night and day in terms of cost and things like that. All right. Now. What we've been waiting for, international applicants. All right, so if you can't make it to Baltimore, try to do a virtual campus tour. Um, they do, uh, you do apply for as regular students apply for. Uh, remember that Morgan State is on the Common App. It is on the Common App, all right? Uh, and it says that Morgan State is home for international students from six continents. Some countries represented are the Bahamas, Brazil, Canada, China, Turkey, Cote d'Ivoire, Ecuador, Egypt, Germany, Ghana, India, Iran, Jamaica, Nigeria, Peru, Saudi Arabia, uh, the UK, and throughout the Caribbean, to name a few. Okay? So, remember I mentioned about the HBCUs. They're very welcoming to international students. And, um, you know, and I've seen a lot of international uh, students come there and do very well with themselves. Some actually even stayed on as teaching staff there. All right. Um, and there's always good things going on in Baltimore, even though there is some crime there. Um, there's always a lot of good things going on there. I truly like the town. I just know where to go, where not to go. Um, there's a professional baseball team and a professional uh, football team there. Football meaning American football, not soccer. <laughs> Uh, if you want a professional soccer team, you'd have to go to Washington, D.C. for the uh, um, D.C. Union. Uh, but there's football, football team and a baseball team. And like I said, great food. If you like crabs and seafood, it's great. All right. Now, basically, we're going to look at some of the academic programs that they have. Here's some programs leading to the bachelor's degree. Um, accounting, actuarial science, applied liberal studies. So they have a lot of undergrad programs. You can go through and figure out which ones that you're, you're interested in. Uh, as I say with most schools, and I know this is getting a little repetitive, but you definitely want to, um, the, probably the best thing to do is contact uh, the director of, uh, of admissions. I don't know if there's a director of academic, I mean of international admissions, but I would just contact just, uh, you know, the admissions department. You can go through there and find an email and then ask them like, what are some of the requirements um, additional requirements that might be needed for international students. But you know generally what they look for. They're looking for TOEFL scores, they're looking for transcripts and all these things. If they're not in English, they need to be translated into English. Um, and like I said, uh, also looking for additional scholarships that they may offer. And you could do that by just talking to admissions and say, hey, listen, 
I'm coming from Iran. I've, I've got accepted. I want to know what scholars are available. You definitely want to be in contact with the admissions office because they will, you know, walk you through the steps to get your visas uh, to come there and study. All right. We look at the international, um, going back again, I'm going to strongly recommend, again, you go to internationalstudent.com, make an account, make an account internationalstudent.com, and go and start searching for your international scholarships now, because school could be expensive, all right? Look for those scholarships now, all right? Um, tuition, out-of-state tuition, we're looking at $18,480 a year. $18,480 a year. You're looking for room and board, I would say on average, and I know usually I give a breakdown to every school, but I would say on average for, for um, room and board, like you just might want to tackle an extra ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. And that will, uh, you know, pretty much cover room and board. And that fluctuates up and down depending on... Um, you know, I guess depending on what kind of room that you decide to stay in. All right. If you see here, we have a picture of the cafeteria. Um, then they have a student uh, student life and development. Um, and they do, uh, they actually go into different things here where they have, uh, they talk about religious life, uh, division of student affairs. It goes into a lot of other, um, a lot of the issues here. So uh, they have their own radio station, their own choir, their own bands. That's one thing about, the HBCUs, the bands, the bands are probably more important than the team. The black college bands, it's like a show. <laughs> People don't even go to the school to see the school. They go to the school to see the bands. They don't care about the football team, the soccer team. They go to see the band. So that's one uh, big strong thing about them, if you're into that. All right. Navigate through the site. Morgan.edu. Um, if you feel that this is school for you, apply. Okay, apply there. See what happens. The rates aren't that bad out of state. Um, you know, eighteen thousand. Uh, remember, we looked at some other schools and they were like fifty thousand, sixty thousand. And I think that definitely you could find something that is, um, you know, you could find something that is, uh, you know, that is appealing to you. A uh, lot of lot of great programs. I didn't have a chance to go through all of them. Um, and great places to live. You know, great, great places to live here, all right? Um, go to the website, check it out, flick through, see what's going on. Contact Residence Life, contact uh, the admissions department. Um, ask questions, talk to people from your country that might be alumni from there. Get more info, all right? Don't just take it from me, do your own due diligence. Go through and figure out what Morgan State University is about, all right? So, signing off for right now check out for our next installment coming a little bit later on today we're going to dig into some other schools that i think will be beneficial for you guys all right talk to you later be safe all right guys thanks for tuning in uh a really good 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 session today uh morgan state university like i said is a very good university that i feel gets overlooked uh and actually to be honest you know they have been getting uh, a lot of money from the state and other donors. So a lot of scholarships have been have been coming out uh, uh, that you know you need to take a look at. Um, plenty of international students, like I said before. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for your support and check in with us tomorrow. We're gonna try to do these at least twice a day, try to get some universities that maybe you've heard of or never heard of, but nevertheless are still great and you can get in. All right, we'll talk later.